Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Josh. So my project is called DroneStream, um, and it begins in 2002. On November 3rd, a United States Predator drone entered Yemen's airspace um, and killed six people in a car. As Jeremy Scahill put it, it was the first publicly confirmed targeted killing by the United States outside of a battlefield since Gerald Ford implemented a ban on political assassinations in 1976. Right? So first covert drone attack, 2002, in Yemen. The second covert drone attack happens almost two years later in Pakistan, 2004. Um, the target was apparently this gentleman, Nek Mohammed. A missile from a U.S. drone tore through the mud building he was in, severing his left leg and ending his life. Um, but it also killed seven other people, including two kids who were 10 and 16 years old. Right? So second drone attack, 2004, Pakistan. The third drone attack happens about a year later, in 2005, also in Pakistan. Two people were killed in a car. Eighth drone attack, 2006. Uh, 80 to 82 people, including 69 kids, were killed at a school. 165th drone attack, 2010. Uh, these kids' parents, along with their 8- and 10-year-old brothers, were killed when a missile hit the wrong house. 444th drone attack, 2012. Um, Nabila's grandmother was outside of her home picking vegetables when a missile came out of the sky. Fast forward to last month, April 17, 2013. Um, Faria al-Muslimi, his village of Wasab, um, where he had been singing the praises of how awesome his experience was going to high school in California, uh, became the target of a U.S. drone. And he said when he testified on the floor of the Congress, um, that now, when farmers in Wasab think of America, they think of the fear they feel at the drones over their heads. Um, and he said that what violent militants had failed to achieve, one drone strike accomplished in an instant. Right? So how did we get here? Ten years, 480-ish secret drone strikes, 4,700 people. Um, and what can our relationship be with this story? So with that in the back of my mind, the next thing I did was start a Twitter account. Uh, I said I was going to tweet the entire history of U.S. drone attacks, one by one, starting at the beginning. Um, the idea basically being, you know, who, who are these people who are being killed? How do we know that they have, in fact, been killed? Uh, where does the information come from? If it's, if it's run by the CIA and it's officially not acknowledged to have happened, how do we actually know this? Um, so I started reading a lot of news reports, right? I also said that it was going to take 10 minutes to tweet the entire historical archive and try to bear witness to this in a real-time platform. Um, it's been about five months and we're still in May of 2012, right? So still about a year left to go. Um, the reason I want to do this, again, is to try to visualize this historical archive in ways that 